the most difficult thing for the foreign man is to be too naive. They are too naive, unfortunately. And our women, they know how to use it. They can um, manipulate. manipulate. Yeah. Yes, manipulate. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, Julia. Very glad to meet you. Hello. <laughs> Hello. And thanks for talking to me today. My pleasure. You have a very fascinating story as you, uh, basically I'll sum it up in a nutshell, okay? Mm -hmm. As you um, looked for many years for work in a marriage agency. Right. Uh, you refused to work for bad ones. Yes. You, wor you worked for about seven different agencies. Exactly. In right. different cities. Right. In different cities. Um, you took the job under the auspices that they're a good honest agency, found out that they're not, left your job, yes. kept interviewing, and you've uh, applied f to a total of about 30 or 40? Yes, I was sending my CV. Uh -huh. My level of English gives me a chance to work in a good agency. Right. I mean, they don't even want a good level of English. Most of them say, you can have middle level of English. That's right. all you need. Right. Because uh, most of them work uh, with a policy of um, um, being profitable, getting mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. And um, most important is that most of them lie to the man. That's what astonished me most of all. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why I didn't really find a good agency, because most of them work um, for lies, for not truth. That's they what, lie. Yes, it's yes. all one yes, big... Yes, it's like uh, a corruption scheme yes, yeah. that you get involved into, and uh, one day you ask yourself, if I'm doing the right thing, if it's, it's very hard for me to uh, do this thing because um, I believe everything should be built on truth. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm still in my search mm -hmm. of a good agency. Mm -hmm. So you've had about 30 to 40 interviews. Yes. Yeah, and you have mastered, mm -hmm. uh, like an undercover journalist like I did when right. I first came yes. to Ukraine, what are the questions to ask the agency to uncover the bad ones? First uh, of all, yes, yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yes. And so the point is you still haven't found a good agency. Yes. You're still looking for a job. Yes, right. Uh, so th that says a lot. So yeah, if you could give us some idea of mm -hmm. what are the tricky questions you ask the agencies when you're on your interview so mm -hmm. you know if they're good or bad. First of all, I come to them and they ask how many marriages you had in the agency. If they say, for example, no, I ask how many years your agency exists. If they say we exist for more than 10 years and we had no marriages, it speaks a lot. The second one, what age gap do they work with? If the women are under age of 30 or more, I mean uh -huh. 40, 50. Average they, age of woman yes, profile. Yes, from, yes. Uh, I think that women um, over the age of 30 have successful story of meeting foreign men because right. they are serious, they know what they want, mm -hmm. they can get, um, how to say, to the point of their success, they can get to the point of marriage, they understand what they are willing to do. Right. Also, I was asking them what kind of feedback you have with the clients, women. If you give them uh, any prompt of what is written in their letters, how you contact with them. And if they were saying, you have to be this woman, you have to pretend mm -hmm. you are this woman, mm -hmm. and uh, no, no, no need even to call this woman or somehow, it was giving me a prompt that it's not good mm -hmm. because the woman should be kind of a team worker in your finding a good match. Yeah, you should be the yes. translator yes. for your clients. I so need to do my work. Yeah. And the woman has to be a woman. I don't want to be this woman. Right, right. right. They want you to pretend to be beautiful Sveta, 22 years of uh, age, and the man writes right, to Sveta, right. but really you're right. corresponding back to the man, not Sveta. Sveta doesn't even know this yes, man exists. Yes. Or Sveta knows, for example, because she's paid because by the agency, uh -huh. her profile is top profile on the side, mm -hmm. and for instance, Sveta has many admirers that pay money constantly to contact her mm -hmm. on the side and she has no chance even to meet any of them because mm -hmm. she doesn't care. She has her own life, private life, yeah. even 
some guy, for example, Ukrainian guy or someone else. Yeah. So she doesn't care. Yeah. So she makes Sveta the beautiful money maker profiles. Yes, she yes. makes a piece of the action. Yes, yes. But a very tiny piece, right? A very tiny, very right? Very tiny. Very tiny. And often the agencies, what do you say? They they're honest about uh, her percentage of the fee that they should give not her? always not. I think because mm -hmm. some I think profiles can make very big money mm -hmm. but um, they don't uh, care about that they don't take talk to Sveta mm -hmm. they don't Sveta and all this beautiful girls they don't know how right. much their profile usually makes right. because her profile can be placed on different sites not yeah. on one and right. every site gives a profit that's yeah. why Sveta can be um, getting maybe how one thousand greenhouse that's maximum, mm -hmm. but in fact per month. Per month, yes. Uh -huh. And she says, okay, yeah. it gives me some profit. Let it be. She, yeah. It can be, stay on the side for yeah. more than five years because she is at this yeah. moment working somewhere, doing so she, some job. She knows what's going on. She knows, she knows that yes. her profile is being used for yes. deception. But there is another side of the coin also. Okay. She may not know that. For instance, her right. profile is just used by the site. And Sveta, for instance, got married, has kids. She is not that beautiful that on the photo session, for instance, but this photo session keeps giving money to the mm -hmm. agency. Mm -hmm. And Sveta is still on there. Another idea is when a man uh, is uh, lied to by the woman. The woman is actually not knowing ma in many cases what is going on with her profile. Her profile is just used to attract a man and to attract not only one man in her age group, but as many as possible. That is how their profit comes. They get this profit, uh, they share it, and the woman can be on the side that was uh, very astonishing to me too for many, many years. For example, she comes to the side in her 40 and she is still on the side in her 50. For, mm -hmm. for instance, mm -hmm. 10 years is a whole life, right? Mm -hmm. That's why I was always surprised how a woman can be that long on the side. Isn't it so hard mm -hmm. to find a destiny? Yes, it's hard, but it doesn't take so many years. But if why you do you are... think that is? Why is she on the site for 10 years? Because the site doesn't contact her. Yes. It makes money. Yes. It just makes money, especially yes. if the woman is good looking, or for instance, yes. it do she doesn't have children. It was one story that yes. I was very much surprised to happen. Yes. The woman was very good looking in her late 40s. She had no children, so she had a huge number of men coming to see her, mm -hmm. the huge number of letters mm -hmm. that she was getting, but uh, the agency wanted her profile to be on the site. Profitable. Yes, yeah, profitable. Yeah. So they don't contact yes, her. Yes. They just they contact not, the They were contacting translator. her. They were trying to give her some how to feedback on her letters, but it was like for general information, not for her happiness. She wasn't getting her happiness because they were not interested in serious men coming to her profile. They were more um, interested in some men, for instance, that were coming for a short period of time not to have serious relationship with her. You can divide the women in two groups. Those who know that her their profile are still on the side and those who don't know. Right. Uh, so the ones instance, that know are getting a little payment yes, every month. Yes, yes, and the ones yes, that don't know yes, are getting no payment. Yes, but they're the, totally being used. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. They're to to totally being used because uh -huh. for instance and how to define that this profile is not Sveta's profile. Mm, uh, the woman can hint uh, on a date, real date. Real date is a uh, one way to um, how to say to check mm -hmm. if this person is really who you are talking to mm -hmm. and if Sveta says for instance that um, oh till the coming date she says my granny gets ill or I have to go Im immediately to some distant city that's why she she finds a reason why not to meet yeah you. when the man actually comes to meet with her yes yeah, yes yes they, or she they... says for instance my child is ill I have to stay with my child or for instance my cat uh, is pregnant I have to take <laughs> care of my cat the reasons can be different you yes, know yes 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 have a, this a myriad woman? of excuses and lies to, yes, to get her the date. Right. So that's after a period of time the, the guy has been corresponding, writing letters to her. He true, thinks, true. He thinks it's, he's writing to her, but really he's writing to the translator. The most uh, difficult thing for them, for a man, is to be too naive. They are too naive, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And our women, they know how to use it. And mm -hmm. they 
they can psychology, psychologically, psychologically they can yeah. um, manipulate. Manipulate, yeah. yes, manipulate. Yeah. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and they they're very good at word crafting the letters mm -hmm. to hook the man emotionally. Right. Yes. Yes. Oh, you know, they say the right things. Yes. And uh, are the agencies training them how to how to actually write the letters? Mm, they train mostly interpreters. Mm -hmm. They train interpreters because that's what I mean. Yes. That's what I mean. Yes. Yes. Because yeah, yes. it's the interpreter that's really the lady. They are trained. They are very tr well trained because uh, I have been to one agency that uh, was uh, working on some site, and there was no chat, only letters, mm -hmm. and they were. I say, you are a bad worker because you don't want to learn. I say, what I should know. It was interesting for me to find out what I should know. Mm -hmm. they were They're saying, telling you you're yes, a bad worker. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I was a bad worker because I wanted to find truth in this business. Mm -hmm. uh, but And I didn't want to follow their rules. Mm -hmm. That's why I was a bad worker. Their deception and lies. Uh, yes, rules. yes. Yeah. It's like a kind of theory of lie. You have to learn the theory of lie to be successful in this business. Right. To be manipulating with people. Mm -hmm. I'm not that kind of person. Mm -hmm. I want to be translator who is sincere towards people that's what I the way I, the, the business sh should mm -hmm. be so you've got a lady that wants to meet a foreign man mm -hmm. you've got a translator because she doesn't speak English very well right and yes. then you've got the Western man yes. and you're the the go-between you're like the facilitator a, like a solicitor to help them communicate. Like, a, like a solicitor like a translator right. for like real. a translator right. yes right. but you couldn't find this kind of a job it's all deception no no, no. No, it's, 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 it's hard to find because every time you say you have to do this job for the woman in one, in one case or you have to lie forever mm -hmm. and you don't see any future in your profession. You know, in every profession you're a journalist, you want to be, for example, a journalist of a very famous um, yes, article. news yeah. yes, yeah. article yeah. Yeah. to have your name placed on some, under some articles to be successful. The same as me. I you want to, be, to have a happy couple, get married. Yes, I want to have a happy couple. It will be the evidence that yes. I am successful in my job. Yes. That is not uh, broken hearts yes. makes a success. Only happy stories makes a success. Yes. That's, what, uh, that's why I was coming, coming to the New World agencies. I was getting the same scheme. I was getting the same scheme and I was really disappointed with mm -hmm. what is going on. Mm -hmm. Can we drill down on your three tricky questions you asked the agencies yes, when you went in yes, for the interview? Sure. First, you said was how Marriage. many marriages? Marriages, did you have? yes. And maybe, maybe, um, and mm -hmm. uh, frame this as a tip for the Western man. So, if he's looking at working with an agency, or mm -hmm. if he's uh, online, mm -hmm. uh, paying for chats or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. What can he do? Um, I guess your advice is not what he can do paying for chats. Let's cover that before we get into this. Paying for chats online. Yes, uh, I can is even... There, is, is there any honest agencies where you're actually paying money for, for chat? chats? I don't think so. You don't think so? Yes, no. Zero. Beca because uh. mm, could be, but um, it should be a woman knowing English. If you know that the woman knows English, mm -hmm. probably this is her sitting behind the screen. And she's working at 4 a.m. in Ukraine. Yes, yes. That's an honest situation, That's, that's right? a very important question to cover because yeah. if you see for... Mm, if you, a woman, uh, a man sees that a woman is sitting late at night yeah. at, from 12 in the midnight hour time uh -huh. till 8 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. at this moment all the normal woman is asleep. Yes, mm -hmm. because she has to wake up, as she's saying to the man in her letters, I'm very hard working. How can you yes. be, you're a zombie if you don't sleep yes, at night yes. and you work in the daytime, yes, right? Yes. We all need to have some yes. rest. It, it's kind of an obvious fact that when yes, you think about it, yes, when right. a guy just has to sit at his computer and think, oh, it's 4 a.m. in Ukraine and she's talking to me. Uh, or <laughs> she may it's say, a real woman. She, she, she may say, for instance, how the, the agencies teach the interpreters to do. If mm -hmm. they sit, um, how uh, I was going going through training because it was interesting for me to find out more about this business and they were saying tell this man for instance that uh, it's hard for you to get asleep you have like mm -hmm. say insomnia, insomnia. Yeah. yes can't insomnia sleep. can't sleep so Came to my do you think that 99 percent of women in ukraine have and insomnia, insomnia. <laughs> It's a kind of uh, widespread illness here. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. As, as funny as that is, that guys don't catch on to that. And it's it's at a point that we have to drive home. So that's um, yes. chat, online chat. What about pay per letter, PPL? Is there any honest pay per letter out there on uh, the internet? I was working uh, in the agency in uh, the 
2000, in the year 2010. It was uh, my good experience because it brought a very happy couple. Yes, because I, I helped this match happen and now they have a very happy couple. They, they live in Sweden mm -hmm. and they are my pride, this couple. Right, right. And uh, how we were working, we were working like the truly, how the interpreter should be working. For mm -hmm. instance, she was read, writing a letter I was translating and uh, this letter was sent to the man. And it was endless process, you know, how it should be. Mm -hmm. uh, not cheating, just mm -hmm. sincere work. But 99% of agencies don't work like that. They think that it's better to uh, hire interpreter, successful psycholo psych psychological um, person who knows how to hint. How to trick them. How to trick, yes. Yes, thinking. yes. So be careful if you speak to the woman, try to check her very very how to say um, accurately how to, how to, to understand what is uh, really behind the screen mm -hmm. if this is a real woman mm -hmm. or you are just talking to some trained person yeah, you know yeah. so this is a little boutique agency you worked at a yes, small agency yes very it? small tiny yeah, yeah. i came there by chance but it was my successful right. background well that's good you had an experience positive experience with a yes, good agency yes now i have to something to compare to you yes, know yes, now yes, when yes. i come yeah, it was good. in the small city by the way not in uh, in the city we are now you right, know right, right. so what about the big industry mm -hmm. websites mm -hmm. you know the the big bohemists out there is there any uh, honest paper letters on those big sites do you think mostly the site is given some kind of system that the man has to follow for instance the site can say you need to open at least 15 letters from a lady then you get an access to her personal information mm -hmm. or something like that uh -huh. or uh, you can for instance um, you need for instance to upgrade your membership so that you mm -hmm. can open photos of the lady or something like that so keep mm -hmm. reaching into your wallet yes more yes. credits yes, yes. more in the wallet how to get the, um, how to say, the truth from that is to try to um, skip from the paid chat, paid, paid mm -hmm. letters mm -hmm. to a free source like Skype or emailing. Yeah. So get her contact information. Yes, get, get her contact information. And if the woman says, oh, I don't know English, I don't want to communicate with you, you can always translate through Google Translator. You can yeah. always get mm -hmm. some brand translate for you or, mm -hmm. for instance, uh, I don't know, ask your uh, son who knows English to translate for you, ask your relative who knows English. Yeah. Is our language, English language, is now so much widespread in our society. Almost every second child knows English. So mm -hmm. for women, it's yeah. not a difficult to And it's in to the school system. It. It's in the school yes, system. Yes, Most yes. Uh, people by the time they graduate have taken five to seven years of English. No, I don't know even 30 percent of women that don't know english right. most of them do and learn quickly because they had this that subject at school yeah. Yeah, it's easy background. to remember like yeah. play, playing the piano you yeah. know how to play yeah. because you learned some time ago yeah. Right? Yeah. right so going back to yes. um is it an honest uh, paper letter you're saying the smart technique is try to get her contact information as quickly as you can yes and some agencies they have a upfront fee you can actually pay to get her contact information mm -hmm. and then you can correspond with her on her personal email ask her to skype mm -hmm. ask her to join on viber because it's used heavily in ukraine yes. it's like our whatsapp yes. yes and then you'll find out very quickly if she's really interested in corresponding and true you right true and if it's really he, she she's look uh, you are talking right too right, because right. you will see the difference if this mm -hmm. woman talks the same way if she is uh, the same how to say sweet as in letters mm -hmm. you will feel the difference yeah. really yeah. and also a very good tip for, for the man try to ask some questions and remember them during your communicating yeah. on the site on a expensive site yeah. and then some time after ask the same questions if the difference between it will be the difference in, in answers if the woman is not what she's talking about, right? Yeah, because what happens, why there's mm -hmm. different answers to these questions, or they don't answer the questions at all. Mm -hmm. They don't answer the questions at all if it's pat 
answers, right? It's pre-written letters mm -hmm. that are going out. That's mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Or two, if the answers are changing and the story is changing, that's a different employee, a different translator right. pretending to be this beautiful That's what, what I, by the way, met in many agencies being trained there. They, um, why I stand so much for the interpreting business? I think interpreting business is not so, how to say, well behaved because interpreter uh, is a, it should be a very um, how to say respected person mm -hmm. but in our uh, dating agencies it's not so much respected mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. because you have to do loads of work and it's not valued at all that's what I was telling you um, it's 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 hard to find truth in this business that's why I'm still in my search I'm mm -hmm. ongoing in my search right. and uh, I, I right. don't give up but it seems to me I'm about to give up that mm -hmm. I will find some good agency you're like the perfect undercover reporter really for us guys as advocates for the Western men because you're looking for a good honest agency and you can't find one that's why when we when we met when you wrote me off the YouTube channel and I thought wow I gotta meet this Julia and then we met and and I found you by chance I heard what you're saying and it corresponded to what I am looking for. I am looking for truth, you're looking for truth. Mm -hmm. So we are like police people in this yes. kind of um, yes. dirty business. Yes. I am, and it shouldn't be like that. If you are in corrupted society and you don't do anything about that, it will stay corrupted. It will be even more corrupted, right? Yeah. If you want to change something, you should say some, some you know, good word towards people. Uh, because uh, on that side, abroad yes men uh, don't know what uh, what to do they come here like children they are lost mostly right yes. and i saw that in the eyes of man coming here when the woman for instance says i don't want this man in some time of dating with him because mm -hmm. that is what not she was expecting to see right yeah and also she's not interested in him yes um, yes and, and you're this, the translator and this man is sitting and saying julia i came here across the ocean mm -hmm. i paid so much money for the ticket mm -hmm. to come for nothing and it happens not only once it happens constantly yeah. because um they are not really matchmakers. They are dating agencies making profit, you know. They are catching money catching? makers. Yes, yeah. they are catching the uh, golden fish. They get what they want mm -hmm. and they just let it go. But it shouldn't be like that. Mm -hmm. I stand both on the side of a man and a woman because they are all both human beings. Mm -hmm. They all de both deserve respect, right? Yeah. It's, not, uh, it, it's not right to yeah, not cheat right. on anyone. It's not. But you know, um, I can't wait another moment. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, I know we're still going through the tips to find good agencies mm -hmm. but uh, let me digress to this question is it true mm -hmm. is there a lot of ladies um, say 30 30 and up that are looking for a good man they maybe have a child they might be a single mom or not maybe yes. married maybe not but they just can't seem to find a good man they it's true let it be for example she goes and get um, she ma she is married in 23 or 24 and your man um is not to be having in a good way so she's divorced after that it's very hard for a woman believe me many women stay lonely till very elder age because it's hard for them to believe it's it's possible to make the second attempt because our society dating back from the soviet union they mm -hmm. used to say mm, be married once don't try another chance if uh -huh. you're married second time mm, you are not a kind of good woman you know it was always kind of uh, built a model of one marriage. But if this man disrespects the woman, why should she st stay with him, right? Mm -hmm. So she is divorced, but at the same time, she is afraid that the second man will be the same way, you know. For instance, I have a, a woman, and she is a very good woman, fantastic woman. And uh, three of her husbands, uh, they were have an addiction to alcohol. Mm -hmm. It's a common problem in Ukraine? Yes, plane? here it's a very common problem. Not always it starts from a little beer for instance in your country I know that there is not so much spread it's this problem is not so much spread you can drink but you know how to behave well right mm -hmm. our men don't they don't know the limits mostly mm -hmm. they can drink endlessly on every wedding on every holiday they drink 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 yeah I experienced that at a yes. wedding yes, I had yes. to put water in my glass because they kept putting it's, vodka it's, in it's it. I had hard. to fill it with water and usually they say you don't respect 
me, why don't you drink? Yes, yes, I know. That's why I had to put <laughs> fill it up with water so they wouldn't stop pouring vodka right. in it. It's, 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 a, it's impossible to persuade yeah. them that they want a healthy way of life. Yeah. You are health. No, they say, um, maybe you are ill, that's why you are not drinking. And yeah. you have to agree, yes, I'm ill, <laughs> but I want to be It's such a healthy. social norm here. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's a social yeah. norm. Yeah. Our men, yes, so, are different. Okay, so there's a lot of available single women divorced. Huge number. Um, you don't single even, moms. Yes, right. you don't okay. even imagine how many. After Irina uh, had a happy marriage, uh, from her side, so mm. many women were saying, um, can I contact Julia? I want the same. Can I contact Julia? I want the same. Uh -huh. And they were calling me saying, I'm a single mother or even I'm still married, but I'm going to get divorce. I yeah. want a, a good man or um, I'm a little bit over age, maybe 50 or so. Please, can, can you help me? Because uh, I don't want to stay alone. If you if you see the women in 50, they are stay alone. They have maybe a little dog or something. Mm -hmm. They're extremely, extremely lonely. Mm -hmm. They come to the same flat. It can be a fancy flat even because they earned money during mm -hmm. the lifetime. Mm -hmm. But they're extremely lonely. They're lonely. They come to my to my place. I interview them. I help them. I try to help them a little bit to search mm -hmm. on free sources to help them to uh -huh. find some man that matches them. Right. But they they tell me their stories and they, it's always a very sad story. Mm -hmm. I know, I was shocked to, to hear you tell me you have about 30 of your just personal friends. Like you're not a matchmaker, you're not in the business, but yes. you have 30 yes. or so personal yes. friends yes. that say, Yulia, try to help me find a good foreign man. Or not, just a foreign man or any good man? Not Ukrainian man. They don't want Ukrainian. Ukrainian men. Really? Somehow they don't know want. They These want a your... foreign. Yes, it is some personal uh -huh. friends coming from different uh, sources. For instance, mm -hmm. I was just uh, telling. I do this job. They were saying, "Can you can I, can you help me?" Uh -huh. And this her friend is telling the same. I don't know her friend, but her uh -huh. friend is interested in getting the foreign man. Mm -hmm. Not because you are rich, not because you earn more, because you have a. A very good behavior and the woman is uh, lacking that in her life very much the Slavic woman mm -hmm. so so why is it do you think that there's so many uh, mm -hmm. amazing Ukrainian women that are single from 30 up mm -hmm. that just can't find a good man like we can't understand that in the West you especially know. because Ukrainian women you are can't so understand and, and we can't understand tangent. when when the man come here mm -hmm. you are so well behaved you respect women you love women you know how to love to pamper them and we don't understand how you you are single yes yeah, single yes. That's, this, that's like a both way question yes no. I know because I know Ukrainian women that's one of their first questions is mm -hmm. they want to know why you come to Ukraine right uh, why are you not married because you look like good man yes and yes. we wonder the same <laughs> you you have a kind of different upbringing in your country mm -hmm, you you yeah. you are like kind of gentleman you gentleman true down gentleman so my big question then mm -hmm. is we've established there's many mm -hmm. single available ladies 30 and up yes uh, 30 and below is a different story mm -hmm. uh, which maybe we'll get time to talk about that and mm -hmm. why that's risky for guys looking below 30. Mm -hmm. uh, but 30 and up many available amazing ukrainian ladies yes um, um, we know there's a lot of available Western men that mm -hmm. are also lonely, yes. divorced. Why does this industry only work to con and scam not only the man, but also use and scam and steal identities from Ukrainian women? I will tell Why you. Why is it such an ugly I business tell when you. there's a real need for it? Because uh, uh, this is a very profitable business and they get great money and when people the directors of the agencies get great profit, mm -hmm. they can't cancel this prob problem. They can't uh, avoid if money comes to their pockets, how can they not get them, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Right. And they dictate to people to do the same thing, to scam, to um, lie, to do all these troubles. Mm -hmm. And the women that come in there, they, for example, heard that some woman succeeded there, but it was one in a million who succeeded in the agencies. Mostly don't succeed. And that is a problem. Very few weddings. Yes, yes, marriages. very few weddings. That's the the good example brings good people, good women there, but they don't mm -hmm. succeed. They succeed only in uh, staying there forever, um, mostly even their 
information is used by the agency mm -hmm. and not women are um, brought to dates, real dates. They, they're not brought to the stage of dates. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you, it's a big mm -hmm. money maker. Uh, mm -hmm. Can I give you my, my take on it also? Mm -hmm. um, it's a big money maker, what I see is because 97% of men never mm -hmm. come to Ukraine. Mm -hmm. They sit at home in their comfort and they want to just chat and write letters right. to a beautiful woman. And it helps uh, them much, kind much of, younger. Yes. Maybe, maybe his daughter's age. So I see this industry is feeding off this deception. First of all, they fueled this deception by creating so many fake profiles. And she's 22, and it says, "Yeah, I'm looking for a man up to 60 mm -hmm. or 70," mm -hmm. which is complete bullshit, right? That's right. It's true. I mean, it's it's no, nothing stupidity. in common with in between them. Nothing. Well, and and. No Ukrainian uh, girl that's 30 years old even is interested in a 60-year-old man, like with a 30-year age gap, right? Right, right. Uh, uh, maybe, what, what, that's a good time for this question. What do you think is the maximum acceptable age difference for a happy couple? Maximum, that is maximum that I heard between mm -hmm. the couples uh, mm -hmm. that I met in the past is 20 years. 20 years. 20 but, years. but it's uncommon to have 20 years, right? In our country, it's not common, yes, because mm -hmm. women usually tend to meet the man of their age mm -hmm. or a little bit elder, for instance. So that's what's normal, man yes. of your age or yes. a little bit older? Or a little younger, could or, be. <laughs> yes, uh, so it could be yes. just um, five, ten years back and forth, right. but right. not 20 years. Right. What will I be doing with a man 20 years elder than me? Yeah.